to another video. We are Yewa Blast. And today we're here with the lovely Debbie. Debbie. Yes, yeah, Debbie. she's um Thank Bob's you. wife. Thank you. Know, Thank you. Bob, Thank you. the other guy, you know. Yeah. I know Bob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um basically last time what Bob uh -huh. took us through was uh he just let us know that love is a commitment. Uh mm -hmm. it's it's not yes, it's a feeling, but at the same time it's a choice you make uh to mm -hmm. continuously love the person throughout. He also uh, let us know about the three types of love mm -hmm. uh relationships which is the agape the filio and the eros eros <laughs> <laughs> yeah and the eros yeah so how about you let us know your take on just the entire concept of love and relationships in our day and age mm -hmm. well thank you so much for having me here today it's just a joy and a pleasure to be with you uh, my name is debbie shogren and when i was contemplating this morning how would i summarize quickly because I know no one has time for a long message. <laughs> um, uh, love. What is love? I would say love is four letters. And I think another word to me that really describes love is another four-letter word. And it is give. G-I-V-E. Right. Give. Give is a shortened word for sacrifice. Um, because I feel like if I think of any relationship that involves love love that is lasting, love that goes for decades, mm -hmm. um, love, love that is felt deeply within a person, it's because someone has sacrificed for you. Someone has given, and that is just the best way to show love. I think of an example of, um, as a woman, I'm a woman, I have had four children, <laughs> and, um, a mother sacrifices for her child, and she does it out of love. Um, she sacrifices her body for nine months. Come on, y'all. Oh, come on. That's come tough. on. That's I mean, <laughs> your that body changes completely from maybe a kind of thin, shapely woman mm -hmm. to, I was told when I was pregnant with my fourth child, you look like you have a watermelon on the front of you. I was told that. And I said, <laughs> okay, oh, <laughs> I'll receive like that. It. And I truly did. When I turned to the side, it was like a watermelon, but it was my child. Mm -hmm. um, so your body changes completely. Yeah. You, you don't get sleep. You have the child. And then for months after that, you are awakened multiple times a night. Love equal give. Mm -hmm. Love is sacrifice. Yeah, as I was saying, love, true love from the heart mm -hmm. is sacrifice for the other person, but you do it with joy because you love them. Sometimes you sacrifice because you out of duty. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's really love. That's, a, that's doing it, that's being faithful. But when you sacrifice and give to another with joy, mm -hmm. it is love. Um, and I was talking about a mother, you know, getting up all night uh, for many times for a baby, but she does it because she loves that child so much. Mm -hmm. Each one of you had a mom that did that for you. Mm -hmm. Go home and thank them today. <laughs> you make sure to do that. And men, men, uh, not sometimes the woman is the breadwinner. Sometimes the man is the breadwinner in a home. But if the man is the breadwinner, often he works long hours. I think of our friend here, King David, driving hours a day to support his family. Mm -hmm. And uh, my husband has worked many years and hours and weeks to support our family. So, but he does it because he loves us. Mm -hmm. That is the foundation. Um, but I was going to say, the, to me, the most, full, the, the most full version of love is when love is not just given, but love is received right. and returned. Okay. So love is like, to me, it's like complete when love is given, received, and returned. Mm -hmm. I mean, one example is God. God giving his son when we receive Jesus Christ and, and that's love received, but then love returned as we are faithful mm -hmm. and we follow him and we become his vessels of love. Come on now mm -hmm. to everyone around yes. us. Mm -hmm. And then three, just to, to kind of wrap it up, I feel like there's three ways we really show our love to people. Mm -hmm. um, 
And one is truly through uh, your facial expression, Very through your <laughs> eyes. Mm -hmm. Come on now, through your eyes. We all know when you love somebody, it's kind of like, yeah. you know, giving them the <laughs> wink or just giving them the like side look like you're cute. Yeah. You know, doing the eyebrows like Ronnie's wife Dinka does. No. <laughs> and Ronnie, no, no. so she's got the eyebrows going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you all in Kenya do the eyebrows very well, really? raising those eyebrows. Oh yeah, much more than America. I love the way you guys <laughs> use your eyebrows here. No. It's really cool. I love Kenyan eyebrow raising. But anyway, so through your eyes, people, mm -hmm. through your eyes, you show love. Mm -hmm. Looking somebody in the eye when you talk to them, does that show honor and love to them? Yeah. Yes, it does. If you're talking to somebody and you're like just looking all over the place, that does not show love. <laughs> um, so the eyes show love. Come on now. The next part of your face. This, the the smile. smile. Do you know you can make a person's day by giving them a smile? I work at a little restaurant. When people come in the door, I open the door. I greet them with the biggest smile I can give them. Yeah. I have seen the most grumpy people, mean looking people, by the end of their time with me in that restaurant, mm -hmm. they are smiling. Mm -hmm. I have had a successful day when I know my smile brought a smile out of someone else. That is love, y'all. Mm -hmm. That's not that hard. Well, then there's part two of giving love through your words. Through your words. Mm -hmm. Now, I... I grew up in America, I live in America, but I have traveled the world, thanks to be to God. Mm -hmm. And the first time I was in Africa was in 1999. Mm -hmm. And I learned in West Africa, it wasn't Kenya, it wasn't <laughs> Kenya, it was West Africa first. Mm -hmm. Kenya, East Africa, I got to later, 20 years later. But, but um, come on people, when I was in West Africa teaching women for five days, 200 women, I found out day two, that the mothers, 200 women, they had never told their children, I love you. Well. Maybe you feel the same. Maybe it's been in your family. Maybe your mother has never looked at you mm -hmm. and said, I love you. Yeah, they don't say that much. Yeah. It's not, it's not an, I don't know if it's not an African culture, but it's not. It's not you're supposed common. to be knowing that I love you. Yeah, don't you know that I love you? <laughs> you think I'd be providing for you, but don't, don't you know that I love you? Yeah, know? Yeah. But it's yeah. not that I love you. No. Yeah. I don't really and so I, I know it's, it's maybe not a part of your culture, and mm -hmm. I, I, I respect culture. But I know from my own heart, when I was a child, y'all, my father, it was my father. Mm -hmm. Every day when we left for school, he said, I love you. Remember that. Mm -hmm. Wow. That taught me the value of three words. So I want to challenge you people. Make a new generation. Mm -hmm. Make a new tradition. It's not, it's not going against your culture, really. It's just obeying the word of God. Because God says in the word, y'all, uh, I love you. It's uh, in... Jeremiah or Isaiah, where he says, you are precious in my sight. I love you, my people. Mm -hmm. I honor you and I love you. Those are the words of God. So if we want to imitate God, we say it. So our facial expressions through our eyes, through our smile, secondly, through our words. I want you, when you have children, I really challenge you, tell them you love them when they leave the house, mm -hmm. when you put them to bed at night. And then remember I said, when you give and it's returned and reciprocated, mm -hmm. it's the best. Yes, My youngest child, his name is Hunter. When he was four years old, he would be in the bed and we would be tucking him in the covers, saying prayers with him, mm -hmm. asking him about his day. And then I'd look at Hunter and I'd say, I love you. And guess what he would say? He wouldn't even say, I love you back always, but he would say, you're the best. Aww. You're the best mama in the whole wide world. Oh, so adorable. Oh. What mother doesn't want to hear that? You know, because mm -hmm. I said to him, I love you. His reply was, you're the best mama in the whole wide world. Oh. <laughs> My heart was so full. Mm -hmm. I gave him love and he gave it back. Mm -hmm. uh, third, third way to show love, and I'm wrapping it up here because I know you're, I know you got to get to go into the next thing, people. But uh, to wrap it up, mm -hmm. 
your facial expressions through your eyes, mm -hmm. eye contact, smiling even in your eyes. When we had to wear those masks in COVID, you could still see smiles in people's eyes. But anyway, um, uh, through your smile, through your words, mm -hmm. um, and through your actions. Of course. So through your hands. You know, I've been in Africa for 20 years now. I have taught a lot of parents. It's, it's so easy when you get angry to just like wow. hit, your, hit your children. <laughs> yeah. <But> guess what? <laughs> your hands were not made for beating. I want to say that. Your hands were not be made for beating a person, mm -hmm. whether it's an adult or a child. Okay. Your hands were made for two things. Cheering them on when they've done a good job mm -hmm. and comfort. <laughs> okay? <laughs> comfort. <laughs> Somebody's having a hard day. You can look them in the eye. You can say, I'm sorry you're having a hard day. That's giving love. Mm -hmm. And just giving them a pat on the back. Y'all, sometimes just a touch. Just one, just one, yeah, like three seconds important. of a touch. Yeah. People are crying out for that. That is love. So, and also beyond just a touch of comfort or love, it's doing a kind act for someone. That is love. You know, when you know somebody's hungry and maybe they didn't get much food this week and you make extra and you take them some bread or you take them part of your food or your chicken had extra eggs and you take them some eggs, <laughs> that's using your hands to serve, to give love. Mm -hmm. Or, hey, I feel so loved when I am carrying a bag and it's heavy and a young man or a young woman comes up and said, can I help you with that? Yeah. Can I carry that for you? Mm -hmm. That's love. Mm -hmm. That is love. So it's, it's giving, giving of your time, giving of your words, giving of your expression, mm -hmm. uh, giving of uh, your body to help one another. Yeah. So anyway, that's love to me, mm -hmm. give. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, honestly. Yeah, well, yeah, thank you, Debbie, th for just even making the time to mm -hmm. come and give us uh, tips on how we can, you know, show love, show love yeah. to others. Yeah. You know, we're all about receiving and being like, why can't you just love me? You know, <laughs> I never thought maybe you should love the other guy. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, so thank you so much. Uh, let's just go through what very quick what we've gotten there are three ways to love yeah. three ways to show love mm -hmm. which was through your facial, facial expressions mm -hmm. your like mm -hmm. smile mm -hmm. your eyes <laughs> you can show your love yes. through um your words yes. uh, very important. All, yeah you need to i think that's very important because a lot of us don't know how to show love with our words no, no, not we always have something, yeah something negative mm -hmm. to say something awful to say about each other so let's learn to use our words to show the love of Christ, obviously. Mm -hmm. Definitely. The love of Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, and the last one was uh, your oh, actions. Yes. yes. In all you do, make sure that it speaks of love and represents love. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you for tuning into this video. Hope to see you guys next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.